Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. So today's video, we are going to discuss Sigma strategy and build. But before that, if you want an updated counter side videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, so here we are at Sigma. So Sigma is actually part of future strategy department. She is actually at four deployment cost, but once you put her as a leader, she's at three, so it, which is very, very good. More, more or less, you need that in a tower so that you could, you know, deploy her as early as possible. Again, she's a tower and she's a ground type, but she does all around attack. Let's take a look at her stats. Um, but before that, we're going to check out her skin. This is actually available now at the shop. Um, I'll see if I'm going to get this down the line. But as of now, I'm happy with her current skin. So let's take a look at her stats again. So for her stats, guys, sad to say for Sigma, all of her stats are not impressive. They're, uh, they're part of her weakness, okay? So HP is going to be low at 17,286. Attack is also going to be low at 2,017. Defense is going to be below average, which is kind of quite good for a tower um, at 520. Next is her crit. Crit is going to be low at 388. Hit is going to be below average, which is actually decent enough. And her ev uh, evasion especially is very, very low at 75, obviously because she's a tower. Her stats does not, does not really represent who she is, actually, but her skills does. Okay, so let's take a look at her skills. So Sigma is, for me, I think one of the best support powers that you may have. Okay, basic skill is her basic attack. It's valid three hits, but this is actually very negligible in a way. So activates uh, activates the Terra, Terra Brain self defense system, condenses energy from her surroundings, and fires it, inflicting AOE damage. So levels two to five is an additional plus twenty percent damage. This is just probably extra in terms of her kit. What makes her good, by the way, is actually her passive skill. You have Sigma Protocol, so manipulates her troops, characteristics, so, so as to make up for their weakness, okay? Increases roll disadvantage damage resistance by 30%. So if your troops are actually at a roll disadvantage, then the resistance is increased by 30%. Okay, for all allies except for herself, Sigma can't be healed. So that is why she's just there for a brief moment. But in most cases that I've seen, um, you won't even have to, uh, what they call this, reach th the point that she'll run out of health uh, within the game uh, because of her, her, her special skill. So again, just an advance notice, her special skill is the one that um, takes up her HP. Um, for her passive skill, let's return to that. Your level 2, 3, 4 is damage taken is going to be a minus 8% in total. But for level 5, roll advantage damage plus 60% added to buff. Okay, disadvantage is, is a resistance of 30 and roll advantage is a damage of plus 60%. So that's a total of 160 damage um in terms of if you have a favorable miss ma uh, if uh, if you have a favorable um match up with the with the what they call this with the unit in front of you okay deployment resources upon death is also a plus one okay so once she dies then she adds one deployment resource next is going to be her special skill so it's going to be square dance it's a 24 second cooldown Using a special algorithm melody, Sigma commands arithmetic cubes and restores deployment resources quickly. This is actually why you should increase her cooldown rate or her skill haste because of the special skill. Um, for her passive, it's actually powerful enough, but once you take advantage of her special skill, then we're in business. Okay, so restores quickly uh, one deployment point as you use the skill. And this uh, skill consumes 15% of her HP. 
when used. So that's roughly 50%. So she can use this during the duration for about around six times. So based on my on 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 what I've seen in in, <clears throat> in PvP battles in PvP. It's actually enough for you to finish off your enemy and she doesn't die by running out of HP due to this skill. Again, this is going to be uh, from level uh, 2, 3, 4, a minus 8 second cooldown in total. So this brings it to 16 seconds cooldown once you have this up to level 4. Then at level 5, <coughs> barrier equal to 20% of max HP. For 10 seconds up for up to three skill uses okay also adds a barrier as well which is actually crazy next is her ultimate skill so daddy help <laughs> her papa the machine god daddy so uses beeper from her father and summons machine god daddy a nanny robot that can be healed i'm not sure why it's a nanny is more of a bodyguard um, a nanny robot that can't be healed when deployed. Machine God Daddy inflicts AoE damage, forcing the enemies to attack it for 3 seconds and decreases approaching enemies' attack by 10%, which is clearly her bodyguard. So, this skill from level 2, 3, and 4, um, it's a minus 16 in cooldown, which brings your cooldown to 44. Then at level 5, enemy attack, minus 20% instead. Deployment resource, plus 1 when used. So take note, from her passive to her special to her ultimate, it's all additional deployment resource, which is actually fantastic. Okay guys, so this is actually my Sigma. I haven't yet uh, leveled her up to 100. I'm actually taking my time. I don't have enough credits. As you can see, I'm only at 17,000 because I've been spending a lot in terms of um, looking, uh, what do you call this? In using them in binary. So, as you can see here, these are these are my best gears for mech so far. It's good that she is mech, and because most of our my best gear um, for cooldown for counters are with Yuna, so she has the best cooldown gear as well for mechs. Because I don't use cooldown in my mechs anyway. So, as for the gear. It's only going to be cooldown reduction. Nothing else. So you, you don't use other other um, gear sets. Only cooldown reduction. So take note of that. The, the, the challenge actually in her gear is also including a secondary skill haste um, as her gear stat. So that's it. So every gear here should have a secondary stat of skill haste. So this one, ideally, ideally, if you have the resources and if you have available gear, maze gear is actually very good for her because maximum for maze gear for her is going to be probably at 11%. Probably some of the gears would be at 10. But again, she would be maxed out between 70 to 74% in terms of skill cooldown which is crazy so again maze gear is good um let's take a look at my other gear that i have equipped so for this one i don't have uh this one is also maxed at 7.7 percent so it's also cooldown but i still have to look for um what they call this um level level uh sorry tier 6 gears for her um this one the weapon so again skill haste and cooldown this one, the weapon, it's cooldown, but I'm actually um, going to change it to this one. To Maze Gear, which also has skill haste already, but I still need to change this through a, through a binary, the gold one, so that I could use this on her. This is actually a uh, tier 6. So again, that will complete <clears throat> more or less the ensemble. I just have to look for tier Tier 6 um, accessory here and armor here in the future. So more or less, <clears throat> as you can see here, my skill haste is already at 54.6%, which is crazy good. But this could be better if I have this already 
changed. So for now, I'm good with 56. Um, I already have, for me, I think the best uh, cooldown gear that I could uh, that I could equip her. Okay, so again for tier six gears, there are a lot of you know there are a lot of options that you could equip her: maze, courageous, gordias, and hummingbird. So those gears, check them first if their maximum is is between is either ten percent or eleven percent in terms of uh, cooldown, cooldown what you call this or skill haste. Sorry, then you could try to equip it with Sigma again. If you encounter Sigmas, you know, Sigma versus Sigma, the one usually that, you know, triggers her skill first is usually the highest cooldown, uh, provided that she survives. <laughs> okay. So those are my suggestions for her gear. I'm actually kind of excited. I'm building her. I'm preparing her for next week. Okay. So as for Sigma, um, I noticed that usually Sigma is going to be good with three cost because again normally you see you deploy sigma um at the start usually so once you deploy her almost all your enemies are actually going to rush you definitely going to rush you so as you can see here um the only way that the other you know your your enemies on the other side can can defeat you uh, is to rush you if they for example don't attack you with sigma um doing her cooldowns and everything it's going to be game over eventually be because again the deployment the deployment cost that she's going to give you or, or save you or add to your deployment you know, this one the deployment meter down here is going to contribute to you bringing out a lot of units on the field so again the only strategy for her is to, again, be placed at the start, then have units defend her, and especially have her cooldown up to a max if possible, so that she can summon um, the big daddy robot here, her nanny or bodyguard. So CDR plus units to block anybody who tries to attack her would be <coughs> ideal for um what they call this in her deployment okay so my final thoughts guys for sigma pvp excellent if i could rate her an 11 out of 10 i will so she is going to be a support unit again dependent solely on cdr gear that's it very simple but again it would be difficult for you to defend her um against rush teams or even not not against rush teams because once you deploy her it's it's expected that that the opponent will be rushing you and attacking your sigma to eliminate her as early as possible okay but for pve i would also i think rate her if i can an 11 out of 10 because she excels in any game mode um particularly for her passive her passive is going to be a valuable to you, especially for bosses. The additional damage of 60% to, to roll advantage is actually very good. Okay, so what can I say more? Um, we'll see next week in my PvP action for Sigma. See if she's going to shine. Right now, she's kind of out of 10 matches. You'll probably encounter around 4 or 5 already teams that use Sigma. So right now, I'm taking my time. I don't have credits again. So hopefully, I could build her towards the end loop. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for staying this far in this video. Also, please consider subscribing while you are here. So you don't miss any counter side videos that I put out. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon and put a like to this video. Guys, thank you very much. Stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.